Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. In this one, we're talking about the NBA for Tuesday, February 27th. And in the video, we have five picks for you guys to consider. So stay tuned in the video for five picks. But I'm just one capper in Dynamo. We have eight cappers in here giving out picks. So definitely get in the private Discord and check it out. You can see some of the big wins over in the Discord from the past couple of days. Another massive demon hit here. Three demon picks. $10 to win at 285 from a member of the private Discord here. So, ton of big hits. Guys playing on Underdog in the private Discord as well. It's less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan, so definitely check it out. But also, right now, we're going to open it up for the free section of the Discord so you guys can get in there and talk about bets. But for the picks, that's going to be in the private Discord. But something we don't do very often is open up the free section. So, we're going to be opening that up. So, Definitely make sure to get in the free section at least or the private section if you want access to a bunch of these picks to see how we've been hitting all of these big slips over there. So check it out with those links down below and the pinned comment. So let's get into this video now. The first one we're going to go to is going to be Sadiq Bay. Without Trey Young, other guys are going to have to step up, play bigger minutes. They get a great matchup here without Trey Young. In this game against Utah, going to go to Bay here on the rebounds plus assists. Something you might not have thought to look at in this one, but this is one that I'm liking for multiple reasons. So we're going to come over to Outlier, which is a great tool for player props that I use every single day. Highly recommend checking it out. They have a free trial if you use that link in the description. You can get that. We can see Sadiq Bay over here on Outlier. This is a number he's hit 57% of the time so far this season. Bay just plays big minutes. So we could see his last basically like eight games, he's played 31 plus minutes at least. I think we could lock him in for even more in this game. And a cool thing you do on Outliers, only look at games where they've played a certain amount of minutes. So you could see when he plays at least 29 minutes in a game, he's hit this in 67% of games or two thirds of games. And really in his last like 12 games, he's hit this in nine of 12 when he's played that many minutes. So I'm liking Sadiq Bey in this game that should be fast paced against Utah and it's expected to be a close one as well. You can see it's just a three and a half point spread in favor of Atlanta and a 237 and a half point total. So a high scoring total as well in this game. So definitely am liking Sadiq Bey in a close high scoring game. He should be playing big minutes. I think he's at least going to play 29. He could play well more than that as well. As we come back to Outlier and see his last two games, he played over 34 minutes in each of those games. So like in Sadiq Bey on this line for the first pick. And then for the second one we're going to go to is going to be Donovan Mitchell. And we're going to go to him over on the PRA. Obviously, Mitchell has been amazing this year and so has Cleveland. But against Dallas, I think we can expect a close game in this one as Dallas has been playing better as well. This is a four and a half point spread, so not as close as the other one, but I still expect to be pretty close. And another high total here, 233 and a half with Cleveland, the favorites. So they're expected to score more points than the Mavericks, obviously. So they have a higher implied point total in this one. And I think Donovan Mitchell is going to be in a great spot here. And this is one of the lowest lines we've seen for him as of late. So I'm going to be jumping on this one, one that I'm really liking. 34 and a half for Mitchell. If we come over here and look at this one on Outlier, we could see for him this season, he's hit this line in 69% of games, 31 of 45. Before the last four games, he hit this line in like 11 straight games, it looks like, from this graph. So he's absolutely been playing incredibly and Plays huge minutes, you can see on the minutes chart. 36 plus minutes in these last three games that were pretty close. Even in blowouts when they won by 24, he still plays 31 minutes. In this one, they won by 23, still played 30 minutes. So it has been fairly blowout proof as well in these games. But I think this one's going to be close. And we could probably even lock him in as a projection for 35 minutes in this game. And you remember, he's hit this in 69% of games. But when we give him at least 35 minutes, he's hit this in 75% of games. So really liking Donovan Mitchell at this line for the second pick. For the third pick, we're going to come over to Odds Jam, which is another great tool here. 
Odds Jam basically is going to show you the best value picks based on these other sports books. So one of their top picks is Kyle Kuzma under 30 and a half points plus rebounds. You can see all these other sports books have it at 29 and a half. Price picks has it higher than every single other sports book here. And I think this is going to be a tough matchup. This game is expected to be a blowout. You can see Golden State 10 and a half point favorites. Honestly, I think it could be even more than that on the spread here because Golden State has been playing a lot better as of late. So I would not expect Kuzma to have a good one in this one. And Odds Jam really likes that pick. So we're going to be going to that. You can also just get a little more data on it over here on Outlier. So you can see the points plus rebounds. He's only hit this 44% of the time on the over. So we like the under. But also, they have it at 20 and a half. We're going to get it at 30 and a half here. And then that's something that he's just hit 42% of time. So even worse. And we're getting a better line over here on Kuzma at 30 and a half. So definitely in liking that. And then we can look at the head to head so far this season. Kuzma has struggled to score against the Warriors 27 and 16 in the two games against the Warriors so far this year. So not a good matchup for him. And a high line here in general, but also just a high line for the value here. So we're going to go under on this one when all these other sports books that you saw on Odds Jam that has that free seven day trial plus 25% off when you use that link down below if you want to continue. We're going to go to him on the under here. And then for our fourth pick, we're going to go to another game and we're going to do a second under of the video, Tobias Harris. We're going to go under on the points here, 16 and a half points, a fairly high line for Tobias Harris this season. And especially as of late, he just has not looked good. Philadelphia has not looked good. They've been getting blown out and their offense has just been severely struggling and I think that's going to continue in this game. So if we look at Tobias Harris, you can see what I'm talking about. You can see on the points here, he's hit this one right about 50%, you know, 49%. But as of late, the last four games, he's had eight points, 15, 7, and 11 points. And now he's going to get a tough matchup. Boston, the fifth best defense in the league, only averaging or allowing 110 points per game. And well, you might say without Joel Embiid, he's probably hitting this line of 16 and a half more. You can look at this on outlier games without Joel Embiid. And this percent actually goes down to 44% of the time this season uh, without Joel Embiid, he's hit over 16 and a half points. So for these reasons, not really liking Tobias Harris in this game. We can also look at head to head. Tobias Harris has played the Boston Celtics a ton over the past couple seasons. And we can see since last year, he's only hit this over in five of 14 games. And you can also see in his last 10 games against the Boston Celtics, he's only hit this twice. So not a good matchup for Tobias Harris here. I think this line is just too high for how he's been playing, how the Sixers have been playing. And honestly, he's just not as good without Joel Embiid, the stats say, and against this tough matchup in Boston. This one has a massive spread as well. It's 12 and a half points, so we could see a blowout here and a pretty low total at 227 and a half if you look at these games above it as well. So for all those reasons, not liking Tobias Harris. So we're going to be taking him on the under of 16 and a half points. Then for the next pick, we're going to the cover boy, Wemby. We're going to go over on his rebounds against Minnesota. Yes, I know this matchup looks tough and scary, but Victor Wembanyama has been hitting this line a ton. And actually, San Antonio and Wembanyama have played the Timberwolves pretty good this season. So we can look at Wembanyama over here. This is going to be his fourth game against Minnesota. We could go to the rebounds and see that he's hit this 58% of the time this season. But Wembenyama, if you remember in the middle of the season, for some reason, if we come down to the minutes chart, he just wasn't playing that many minutes. So so for like 10 games in the middle of the season here, he played under 27 minutes. And now he played 27 minutes last game, even though it was a blowout. A game before that played 31, before that played over 31. And I mean, even in blowouts, he's still playing 27 plus minutes. So even if this game does blow out, we probably should expect 27 minutes at least from him 
Uh, that's what he's played in all of his last six games. And a lot of these have been blowouts. As we're scrolling through these, another 23-point game. This one is a 23-point game, I guess, I think, as well. Um, and he's still playing 27-plus minutes. So if this one is close, he's going to play big minutes. Uh, even if it's not, I think he still plays 27. So if you look at games where he's played at least 27 minutes this year, he's hit this 69% of the time. Also, Rudy Gobert is a game-time decision, so he might not play as well, which would open up more rebounds for Wembenyama, which would be just another added boost. We can look at head-to-head here. He had nine boards, 10 and 10 against Minnesota. And in all three of these games, he's actually played big minutes against them. So I think this is going to be another good spot for Wembenyama here on the boards. Seems like a bad spot, but he has done pretty well against Minnesota this year and just playing bigger minutes. So liking him on this line here. If you guys want more picks from other cappers in Dynamo, definitely join up in the private Discord. We have eight cappers in here giving out picks. You can see some big wins as of late in here, hitting some demon picks and consistent slips. So definitely check it out. It's less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. But also, right now, we usually don't open up the free sections of the Discord, but you can chat with other people in the Discord for free by signing up for the free section of the Discord down below. But to get the picks from the other cappers, you would have to sign up for the private Discord. So we'll see you over in the Discord. Subscribe to the channel, and let's have a good day in the NBA on Tuesday.